Hey Eurovision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. I'm so excited today because I am not alone. I am joined by one of the artists vying to represent Finland at the 2024 Eurovision Song Contest. It's Sara Sipula. Hello. Did so I nice do that correctly? You. Nice yes, to meet you yes, too. Yes. <laughs> you know, Finnish is one of, to me, the most interesting languages. Really? And it's like, because it's kind of a melodic language. It's, you know, it's very like lilty, much like what you would do if you were singing a song. Like even when people are talking, there's like a melody to it. Really? Okay, to me. So nice to yeah. It's so nice to hear. <laughs> so I, I think that Finnish is like a... <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe that's just because I think English is boring, perhaps. But your song, you are singing in Finnish. And I gotta ask, okay, why this song? Why this song for you and Kay? What about this song made you go, okay, this is the one? Mm, well, actually, we didn't make this for you, uh, MK. We were making my next single. Uh, but uh, when the UMK deadline was getting close um, and we were listening uh, all the music that I've done and thinking uh, what's the right song for UMK and uh, this was quite clear that th this is the one uh, I don't know it's really important to me that um, uh, the song has really something to say like some message no, I definitely think the message is getting across, even though some people might not Google the lyrics. Actually, the uh, inspiration for the song um, came when uh, someone close to me uh, lost his dad. And um, I tried to get inside his head, like what, what he was thinking when we were hanging at my friend's house uh, after this happened. Um, and he was like laughing at our, our jokes and stuff and tried, tried to be there. Like he was physically there, but mentally not. And um, I was trying to think what he was thinking. And then came this idea for that kind of grief that is kind of selfish and maybe childish. Like my world has stopped. Why is everything going on, spinning around? you're going to work and you're going to grocery store and stuff you know yeah and i think that's kind of a universal emotion you know grief we've all felt it in different aspects of life it could be you know the loss of someone it can be heartbreak it can be you yes. know kind of a life shift a change something that we all sort of experienced uh in 2020 to a certain degree now i have to ask how did you get your start sort of singing because you got this powerful voice you know when did you first kind of know like oh maybe this is something that i could do mm, well I've always loved singing from a little kid, but I think it, uh, I started to think that um, an artist career could be possible. Like it, it was kind of late. Like uh, I was an adult when when it started to really hit that this could be something i love that i love that and i've i've heard you sing lots of kind of different songs yeah I, I saw your videos like doing christmas songs and whatnot what do you feel like your genre is like where do you feel like oh when i'm singing this genre of music my voice really shines well um i love soul soul music and um uh, r b pop music um, I don't really know. I would say that my genre is um, like a soulful and dark pop. I'm following. I'm following soulful, dark pop. I'm, I, I am a fan. We're enthralled. Now, one of the things about my channel is I always have to talk about the styling. I have to talk about the clothes because I don't know. I'm, I'm just I'm into the clothes. So when we think of that music video, you know, what were you sort of thinking about when you were thinking of the clothes? What was sort of maybe the inspiration you said, like, okay, I kind of want to look like this. Well, um, the first, 
first outfit that I had, like um, this corset, uh, like a underwear type. And um, yeah, it was because I, I wanted to be like a naked, you know, but not really naked. <laughs> so that's like a like my like this nude color and um, um, like I said, this underwear type type of outfit uh, and then the red socks um, with red heels uh, they were like giving the right contrast I think that I like and um, also when you have this nude and red color it gives like this this kind of pain you know I don't know how you say in uh, English that word uh, in it's like the contrast the yeah, contrast yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's sort of like you know hard and soft or like sort of like muted and a little bit more bold yeah yes yes yeah I mean I I love the clothes I'm I'm very big on the clothes so now when you're thinking about your performance at UMK I know you can't tell us everything we will see it on the stage but are you kind of going with a similar theme with the clothes or are you kind of thinking I'm gonna mix it up a little bit on the stage Oh, well, um, it's not going to be the same clothes as uh, in the music video, but um, no, I, I don't think it's the same. Maybe the uh, colors are like um, the same kind of, but uh, nothing else. Okay. Okay. Now I have to ask because as an American who's into Eurovision, you know, for me, my first Eurovision memory is pretty clear it wasn't too too long ago i mean well i guess at this point it's getting a little bit <laughs> long ago but we're not going to tell anyone that but can you remember like your first eurovision memory yes definitely and it was 2006 when uh, finland won eurovision it was lordi with their song hot rock hallelujah <laughs> Well, funny enough, that's one of my first Eurovision memories. Lordi is basically the reason that I really <laughs> kind of understood like, oh, this is like what it is. Because a friend of mine who's Greek, her family was traveling to Athens when they're from there, but they were traveling like, yeah, you know, Eurovision's going to be happening here. I'm like, Eurovision, like, I think I've heard of that. I think I know what that is. And then after Lordi won, I'm like, okay, like, what is this? I know what this is. So I will say just nostalgically, I'm sort of waiting for Finland to win Eurovision again, just so it can be like a full circle moment uh, moment for me. Uh, before we kind of wrap this up, you know, because you are such a powerful vocalist, are there certain musical artists that you look at and you're like, oh man, like I would love to have a career like theirs or i love their voice like i want to try and sound like that like do you have any vocal inspirations mm. i've always loved like um women singers uh, who has this really powerful voice like uh, beyonce adele um amy winehouse there's a there's a lot Christina Aguilera, uh, Celine Dion, like I love them all. Like these powerful voices, just they get to me. I love it. And this is the question that I ask everyone. Now I'm sure you know you've heard the other songs at UMK. What person, which one of your competitors' songs would you want to maybe take and do like the Sara Sipola remix or put like the spin on the track? Hmm, that's a nice one. Maybe, maybe I would say Sex Main because uh, I already loved uh, loved him as an artist, and uh, that would be cool. I think I'd be into it. I'd be into, at at minimum. Maybe we can get like a little collabo. Maybe you could sing yeah. sing the chorus or something something yeah, like yeah. that. That would be amazing. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, thank you so much for your time and best of luck on the stage. Break a leg. You've got a lot of people rooting for you. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.